Hey guys, welcome back to Harbour Unboxed. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, but I can't let that stop me because today's news story certainly isn't going to wait. So then, what is today's news story, you ask? It's official, finally, AMD's next generation CPU has been named Ryzen. As many of you are no doubt aware, the code name for AMD's exciting new CPU series, set to launch in the first quarter of 2017, was Zen. AMD has revealed that Summit Ridge will be the code name for their desktop Ryzen platform. It will include a CPU with 8 cores and 16 threads with a base clock of at least 3.4 GHz. This is the first time AMD has revealed clock speed information, and the company even stated that while the engineering samples are currently running at 3.4 GHz, production units will be clocked higher than that. Summit Ridge will also include frequency boost technology, although exact boost frequencies haven't yet been determined. As for cache, there will be plenty of it. The big boys will come loaded with a 16 megabyte level 3 and 4 megabyte level 2 cache. Putting that into perspective, Intel's upcoming Cabby Lake Core i7-7700K will feature half as much level 3 cache and four times less level 2 cache. Bringing AMD well forward from where they currently are now will be this supporting AM4 platform, which addresses desperately needed features such as PCI Express Gen 3, USB 3.1 Gen 2 support, DDR4 memory, and NVMe storage. AMD just recently demonstrated a Summit Ridge engineering sample running at 3.4 GHz, without the boost technology enabled I might add, and in a head-to-head -head battle with a stock Core i7-6900K, it fared very well. For those of you unaware, the 6900K is a $1,100 US Broadway Lee enthusiast grade CPU from Intel, which packs 8 cores and 16 threads. It's clocked at between 3.2 and 3.7 GHz, so it's an ideal and very powerful processor to compare with. AMD showed Summit Ridge narrowly outperforming the i7-6900K in a handbrake video rendering task, completing the render a second or so faster. Although we weren't told the exact handbrake configuration used, the fact that Summit Ridge managed to match the performance of Broadway Lee here is very promising indeed, especially considering AMD is set to introduce frequency boost and a higher base clock speed closer to release. A stumbling block for AMD in the past has been efficiency. Power consumption figures haven't been great. Ryzen looks to fix this with dramatically improved efficiency. A few months ago, AMD used the 3D creation software known as Blender to demo Ryzen, or Zen as it was known at the time. Anyway, AMD's upcoming CPU allowed for around 5 watts less total system power consumption when compared to the Core i7-6900K. AMD didn't reveal exactly what was in each system, so the difference in system power consumption could be explained by other components, though they did claim that it was an apples to apples comparison. Summit Ridge was also shown consuming less total system power at idle sitting at around 93 watts compared to the 107 watts of the Intel system. For those wondering at peak, both systems jumped to around 190 watts. AMD CEO Lisa Su has reiterated that the company is on track to deliver a 40% performance in IPC over the last generation products, at the same level of power consumption. She went on to say, no games, no gimmicks, it's all about delivering the real product. And if the demos are a true reflection of Ryzen and Summit Ridge, AMD will be delivering a modern CPU that can truly compete with Intel's best. AMD has also touched on a number of Ryzen's features, particularly surrounding a group of technologies they call Sense MI. This is essentially a brand for AMD's network of sensors and monitoring hardware built into Ryzen, which in itself isn't anything we haven't seen before from competing products or even AMD's last gen hardware. This technology is used in five key areas of Ryzen that will help deliver optimal performance and power efficiency. One such technology has been dubbed Pure Power. This is a closed loop control system that optimizes clock speeds to deliver the best performance at the lowest power levels. AMD states that Pure Power is used to enable lower power for the same performance. Another technology is Precision Boost, which works in tandem with Pure Power, but instead offers higher performance at the same power consumption level through clock speed boosts of 25 MHz increments. Then we have Extended Frequency Range, or XFR for short. This is perhaps the most interesting feature, as it allows the CPU to increase its clock speed beyond the rated boost clock frequencies depending on temperature levels. This sounds very similar to Nvidia's GPU Boost 3.0 technology, which often boosts Pascal GPUs well beyond their rated frequencies. AMD says that XFR will reward enthusiast coolers by allowing clock speeds to scale with cooling solutions. 
Also included is Smart Prefetch, a technology that learns data access patterns to prefetch necessary data into the CPU cache, so it can be immediately accessed when and where necessary. Finally, we have Neutral Net Prediction. This technology will preload instructions by anticipating the actions a user will perform ahead of time. For those of you who are keen to learn more, be sure to check out AMD's live stream. I'll provide a link in the video description. Short of that, AMD will have more to share about Ryzen and Summit Ridge closer to the first quarter of 2017's launch. Additionally, Ryzen CPUs for servers are scheduled for launch in the second quarter of 2017, while in the second half of 2017 we'll see the Ryzen-based Raven Ridge APUs for low-powered devices. AMD are going to be very busy next year, and I suppose so are we. Still, it's an exciting time to be a tech enthusiast, so stay tuned, I'll catch you guys in the next one.